Let's fly, let's roll, let's get it. Whoa, shawty showing out, throwing on the dance floor. Fashion killer, huh? You don't give a fuck what a nigga gotta say or a bitch. What? Hey guys, it's Naima Ray, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button to join the fam because we are so close to 300 and you know we stay lit over here. So if you guys like seeing fun, and lit content make sure you guys hit that subscribe button okay you feels me and for all my returning viewers hi how are you guys doing on this lovely day um i also want to just thank you guys so much for the support like i don't know why but like the fact that i'm so close to 300 is like really just like hitting me like right now it's like wow like y'all really like me so that's cool that's good to know thanks guys for like tuning in and all that but anyways that's not what you guys are here for as you guys tell by the title of this video your girl is back with another story time and i'm gonna be telling you guys like a little compilation story time of some of the weirdest moments that have happened in my life and by weird i mean like things where it's just like only this would happen to me like those types of moments and when i tell you guys some of these stories you're gonna understand exactly what i'm talking about you're gonna be like naima only something like that would happen to you. But without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in to the video. Okay. Weird moment number one that has happened to me. <laughs> you guys are going to judge me for this. I know y'all going to judge me for this because every time I tell this story, people always judge me for this. But that's besides the point. So when I was younger, um, I had to be like probably like six, seven, eight, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, I was riding my bike outside in the driveway, you know, just going around a nice little circle or whatever, just, you know, do, 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 do. And my grandmother and my mom, they were outside and they were like talking and, you know, they was watching me play or whatever. So I'm just in there riding my bike, but I was singing while I was riding my bike. Now, why was I singing? No, I really like you know maybe I was trying to imagine like I had a little radio like a little stereo or something like I was in a car and I was driving and you know I was being my own stereo like that's maybe what my thought process was I don't know so I'm just riding and I'm singing don't remember the song I was singing but I'm singing and y'all like literally literally a gnat flew in my mouth flew right into my mouth like right to the back of my throat and I immediately start choking like I mean like aggressively choking like one of those like <coughs> like I was really like coughing and I swear I coughed for like a solid two minutes like I stopped riding my bike and everything and I was just like really coughing like my eyes were tearing and everything and I coughed for like it felt like two minutes to me shoot I don't know and it seemed like my grandmother and my mom they were just sitting there just chilling and talking and I was like I'm over here choking help me help me and then finally they're like oh my gosh like neem are you all right because my family calls me neem i'm just in there like i'm literally coughing like i cannot talk like i'm like legit like choking this was like the first time that i actually choked and like i could not stop coughing like my eyes was like i was like crying my face was red y'all it was bad like i was like oh my gosh does nat really try to take me out so i'm still choking you guys i swear to you i choked for like a solid probably like I want to say it felt so long like it felt like I was choking for like 20 minutes that's how it felt in my head like maybe it just seemed longer because I was like really like choking and low-key I think I'm traumatized from that experience because like I remember this like I remember it so vividly and so my mom and my grandmother they were trying to help me my grandmother takes me inside it's like oh my gosh drink some water I was coughing too much to drink some water um and so she's patting me on the back like I'm still coughing and like I could tell like at this point they're like concerned they're like oh my gosh like what is going on like what is she choking on so my grandmother tells me to like eat some bread I don't know why she told me to eat some bread <laughs> I don't know y'all so I was trying to eat the bread but I was choking so I couldn't really do it and then finally I don't remember if I actually was able to eat the bread or even drink water but I do remember like I finally like coughed up the gnat and y'all <laughs> When I finally coughed up the net, it was so small. Like, it was legit so small. And I was like, bro, like, this gnat really tried to take me out. It really was trying to, like, kill me. Because I was choking for, like, it felt like 20 minutes. I swear I was choking for, like, 20 minutes. On a gnat. On a gnat, y'all. On a gnat. Like, and I know y'all like Naima. You really choked on it? Yes, I really choked on that. And it was a traumatizing experience because I still remember it to this day. I remember it very, very vividly. And everybody laughs when I tell them that story. But like, it wasn't funny at the time, y'all. I really, you know, I thought that was going to be the end for me. You know, I thought a gnat was going to be the reason why I got taken out. And that ain't even right, bro. That's not right. That was a weird moment, number one, first story. <laughs> when I choked on a gnat. Um, yeah. Okay. 
on to story number two this was like a while ago too i don't remember like how old i was but i had to be like probably like 10 9 8 somewhere in that area so my niece was down here and i believe i mentioned this in my q a i think i have an older niece like she's older than me she was down here visiting one summer and we used to like to play outside and all that other stuff like we would get my friends we would play outside and all that and so my mom had sent us to like the backyard for something i don't remember what it was i think she told us to go oh i think i remember now i think it was like a bad storm or something and there was like a a really bad like it was like some wind or something and like the the little what do you guys call the little the little tables that sit on the patio like in the back with the umbrella i forgot the name of them i can't think of the name of it but anyways i think the umbrella had flew off like back into like the woods that we had behind our house now the woods behind the house was not like super deep let me just say that before like y'all think oh my gosh like he was like i lived in the country but not not that country really the umbrella had flew in the back and my mom was like oh can you guys go out there and just get the umbrella for me and me and her we was like yeah sure like we'll, we'll go get it so me and i don't know if she want me to say her name but i'm gonna just call her jay we just gonna call her jay me and jay we go out there and we're like okay let me go let's go get this umbrella real quick and we could go resume what we was doing so we were walking like to the backyard to get the umbrella and y'all we didn't even make it like remotely close to the umbrella and these deer pop up like i mean out of nowhere the deer looking at us like and we looking like we freaked out and you want to know what happened we literally like ran back into the house like screaming and everything and my mom was like oh my gosh what happened and and she was <laughs> we told her like we saw some deer she started laughing and we was like it's not funny and she was like well i still need you guys to go get the umbrella i don't know why she was mom why you do us like that huh why, why you do that me and her were scared <laughs> and so then me and jay we grabbed like a bunch of like I don't know what our thought process was. I don't. We grabbed like a broom. We had like fighting equipment, okay? We had a broom, like some pillow, like just in case we had to throw some stuff. And so like we went to go out there and get this umbrella. And y'all, it was not even that deep. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know like anybody who's ever encountered a deer knows that it will it's not gonna bother you like it's probably more scared of you than it is of like wait yeah it's more scared of us than we're scared of it did I say that right it was just y'all it was it was a mess it was it was a hot mess but yeah that one was like really short but that's because I have another deer story and we gonna get into that right now story number three okay so me and my cousin we used to like to always walk around my neighborhood like my neighborhood was really peaceful like it had like a lake and everything we would walk to the lake and like walk back and all that other stuff like this was like normal for us like we always did this so one day we're walking back from the lake right and we're walking we're walking we're walking and we see like five deer like straight in front of us like it's a bunch of deer just in front of us and so i freeze my cousin freeze and i look at him and i'm literally like don't move y'all want to know what he did this idiot takes off running and i mean like right at the deer because like i just said we had to walk past the deer to get to my house so like he takes off running in that direction the deer takes off running like off to the side and i'm just standing there like oh my gosh why is he running so you know he jetted like sprinted like gone and mind you guys this is the same cousin that left me running um from them 20 chihuahuas and yes that's the old story time but i will link it up there and down below if you guys have not seen it because i told y'all some weird stuff be happening to me who else gets chased by 20 chihuahuas bro who 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 do you know that gets chased by 20 chihuahuas besides me exactly he takes off running and he like jets down to my house right so i'm standing there i'm like dang should i run should i not because like the other deer like you know once one of them runs like the rest of them gotta run so i just let the deer go ahead and go and then as soon as they was done i start running too i was like oh my gosh so i'm running i'm running i'm running this man already at the house and i was like bro like i told you not to move like what what, what was you what are you doing he was like i, I mean you know I was doing. like sir what the 
no offense i know he's probably watching this he was very terrible like if something went wrong he is just not the person to go to at the time i don't know if he i hope he's not like that now at the time because like he was the person that's just gonna leave you he's not gonna help you no are you okay not let me grab you and come on and go he's the type list he gonna go anyway okay and good luck to you okay that was the type he was um that one was really short too but that's why I put this in like a little compilation thing because like like I said these are just weird stories that have just happened in my life and I just wanted to tell you guys about them because I just want to know does this stuff happen to other people like comment down below <laughs> if any weird stuff like this or relating like this has happened to you and you was just like wow only this what happened to me like just comment down below and let me know but that leads me on to story number four okay so pretty much <laughs> this one was actually kind of recent it was probably like last month or so so ty and i are going to kroger and we're walking towards the store right and like as we're walking towards the store i see this little kid and he's like running out of the doors like i mean he runs out of the doors and he's like running straight for like the street and there's cars coming and stuff and like me and ty are like uh so we're looking and we're like oh my gosh oh my gosh like this kid and so i see a bunch of people like they see this kid running towards the street right some lady she looked like this some guy he looked like this and I was just like, y'all not gonna stop this kid from going in the street? And like, you know, I'm gonna touch the kid because I ain't gonna look like I was trying to kidnap the kid or nothing, you know, plus it's COVID. Like, I don't know what this kid got going on or whatever the case may be. So I'm just looking like, um, so me and Ty, like, we like stop like in front of the kid. Like, so the kid like right here, right? Right here. And me and him is like this. So like, we're like blocking him from going to the street. And like, we ain't touch him. I ain't touch him because I don't want nobody saying that I'm trying to kidnap the kid. I don't kidnap kids, okay? If I wanted a kid, I would go. I, well, no, I'm not. I don't want a kid. So I'm not trying to kidnap no kids. Anyways, this is the point. We're standing there and we're like this. And like, me and him were looking at each other. Like, we literally looked at each other like, whose kid is this? Like, where's the parent? Like, what is going on? Oh my gosh. And so then, like, the mom, she comes out, right? Mind you, at this point, everybody's just looking at me and him like we're crazy. And the mom, she comes out and she grabs her son's hand, right? And she looks at us dead in the face. Dead in the face. This was literally her. She grabs her son's hand and she walks away. And me and Tommy was like... So you, you're not going to say thanks for saving my kid's life because we could have let him run into the street. We could have. We could have let this, this little boy run into the street. But you know, we have hearts. But like, ma'am, like what? And so I don't know if she was having a bad day or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Maybe she needed some mommy time. But ma'am, you, you need to control your kids, okay? And that goes for everybody out here. Control your children. Do not let them run into the middle of the street. Yeah, so after that day, me and him was like, literally, when we got back to the car, we was like, you know what? That's the last time we do something nice for somebody. Because like, she really looked at us like we was crazy. Like, we was trying to kidnap her son. Like, ma'am excuse me like you the one who over here let your kid run into the middle of the street okay all the way from self-checkout like what what are you doing bro like people annoy me so i decided last minute to add this story because this one's just funny and i feel like you guys should know about it um so <clears throat> number five I was one of those kids who had a very lively childhood, as you guys know, you know. I've ran from deer, as you guys could tell by the earlier stories. And I've also ran from dogs numerous times. Like, I mean, a bunch of times. So yeah, this one particular day, okay. My cousin and I, we're like, okay, we're gonna go on a walk. Now, mind you, at the time, we had family over. Like, my house was kind of full. So, like, my aunt was there, um my my cousins was there like it was kind of a lot of people at the house but not like super a lot but it was kind of y'all get what i'm trying to say so me and him we're about to start walking and like the house diagonal to me they had a dog and we knew they had a dog but like we always saw the dog they kept the dog outside like by the garage <clears throat> oh sorry y'all <clears throat> my allergies <clears throat> my bad my bad so we always saw the dog. They always kept the dog outside, like by the garage on a leash. So we was like, oh, okay, like the dog's on the leash, like it's no big deal. So we're walking by the house and the dog starts barking. And my cousin and I, we looking like, okay, like, what you want to do about it? You want a leash? <laughs> 
like legit like that's our energy like we like but you can't even come get us though like you want a leash like i promise y'all like that was like our energy like for real like we was like i don't know why this dog's barking like who does he think he is as we get in like closer to the house we're like oh shoot i was like is the dog on a leash and he was like i don't know is it on a leash i was like I don't see the leash. He was like, what do you mean you don't see the leash? I was like, I don't see the leash. And like, so so this was us and we was like, wait a minute. And so literally the dog, as soon as like we realized that the dog was not on a leash while we was over here, oh, the dog on a leash, it's not gonna do anything. Like, as soon as we realized the dog was not on a leash, y'all, when I tell you, this was the only time probably that me and my cousin was on the same page when it came to running, okay? And I think it's probably because this was after the Chihuahua incident, so I wasn't taking no more chances. I was like, clearly when he runs, I need to run too. Like, I just needed to get that through my head because he, like I said, he the type to leave you, okay? He gonna leave you high and dry and you on yeah okay like literally at the same time we turn around luckily we weren't even that far from my house like we turn around we start running because the dog is coming after us so <laughs> y'all this is when things start getting crazy okay so we start running and me i'm gonna tell y'all what happened to me first then i'm gonna get into what happened to everybody else because i just told you there was kind of a lot of people at my house so my mom and my aunt they were inside right and then i had there was like two of my cousins outside and they were like, yeah, there was two of my cousins outside and they were like by a car and the car windows were down, right? And then, you know, there was my cousin that was with me who was, you know, we turned around and ran. So when I turned around and ran, I literally ran through my yard <laughs> and like, I got so lucky y'all. Like literally, I promise you, the timing was so perfect. I felt like I was in a movie because I ran through the yard and I went to go up the stairs to the front door. And as soon as I was about to like go to the front door, my aunt had opened it. Cause I guess she was about to go out. She opened it and I literally flew through the door. Like, and it was like, what is, what is going on? And like, <laughs> that's what happened to me. Then I look over and my cousin who was running with me, he went through the window of the car. Like he literally like jumped through the window of the car and ended up in the car. And then, <laughs> And then my other cousin, she ended up on top of the car. Now, how did she get up there so quick? I don't know because I was too busy running, but she literally was sitting on top of the car. Like, I mean, sitting pretty too. She was not like, you know, like damsel in distress. She was sitting there with her legs like off to the side like this. And I was like, how did you, when did you even get on top of the car? Like what? So my mom and my aunt is looking like, what just happened? I was like, the dog, the, the dog went on a leash. I was like, thank you for opening the door. And they was like, okay. They was like, well, where's your other cousin? I was like, look. And so I look out the window and all I see is my cousin sitting on the car, the, the girl. She's sitting on the car like this with her legs off to the side. And my other cousin, he, he popped up in the window. And he's like, is it gone? And I was like oh my gosh like I swear you guys only these types of things happen to me like I have a bunch of stories where I've ran from dogs like it's not even funny um that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed these little mini stories I know they were really short but that's why they're like mini stories I do have some more weird moments that if you guys want me to tell you about them I don't have no problem telling you about them because like I said some things be happening to me and I just be like bro like does this happen to other people like is it normal so yeah that's pretty much is so if you guys want a part two to this video let me know in the comments down below make sure you guys leave a like leave a comment and subscribe follow me on all my social media oh why do i say it like that all my social media which is always in the description box down below at naima ray you dig and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys I want a chick that grind on a nine to five. Hoshi and them college books trying to get a rise. But tonight I'm just trying to have a good time. Lead